Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a video on eating disorders and what it takes to recover from an eating disorder. Now, I know that I've not, I don't speak so often on my account of my eating disorder anymore, but it's something that I struggle with every single second of every single day and I guess it's harder now more than ever because I appear so healthy, like my skin and my weight and everything like that. Um, appears so much more healthy which it is like physically I'm so much more healthier than what I used to be but the eating disorder is something that honestly nags in my head every second of every day and even like in my dreams I dream about food I dream about weight loss I dream about hospitals I literally don't get a break um, from the thoughts rarely at all so um, the reason that I'm kind of wanting to talk about it today is that it's been a particularly hard day for me. Um, I just woke up feeling like one of my first thoughts when I woke up was weight loss and relapse and going back to being, I don't know, more underweight, um, going back to feeling just numb and feeling like not feeling I guess and so yeah that's why I kind of want to talk about it today because it's really just in my head and I can't get out of it so what I've noticed in recovering from an eating disorder is that it doesn't it doesn't just take eating and regaining physical health to feel better and to recover that's actually the first step and I feel like I've never taken that first step and this is why this is so hard because even when I was in and out of hospitals I hadn't taken the first step because even so I was being fed and everything like that I never allowed them to let like to get me to a healthy point I would always hide food I would exercise in my bedroom I would you know appear so well and go out and leave and say yeah I ate and I didn't eat and generally I would always lose weight in hospital because I wasn't being honest, I wasn't, I was only focused on my eating disorder, I wasn't focused on recovery. And it's only since like these past two years of actually not accepting any inpatient help have I got myself to this point and, um, and it's been harder than any time I've been in hospital and it's been so confronting and um, yeah it's just been a really really tough two years and I still get frustrated at myself going why why am I still having such bad thoughts about food and body image and exercise <clears throat> and yeah what I've realized is that this is the first step I've only got to the first step and that is reaching a point where my body is healthy and to a certain extent, and um, I'm eating a bit more than what I used to, that I've actually realized that the journey happens after here. So what I believe is that you need to push past this point and go, I feel really uncomfortable, I feel really anxious, I feel really stressed, I feel disgusting, I feel obese, I feel unhappy, I feel agitated and it's feeling those feelings and pushing forwards because that's when you're going to get to that point because you've actually stuck it out and you've gone, I, despite all these feelings, I can do this and I can get over to the other side because what tends to happen, and I know it's happened with me so many times, is I've got to this point of where I'm physically okay I'm eating okay and it just gets too much and I just go nah I'm just gonna go <laughs> back to what I was doing because that was so much more comfortable and that's why people get stuck in the cycle because it's okay to be this way for a little bit it's okay to like kind of recover and kind of eat and put on a bit of weight and then after a little bit it just gets to this point where it's overwhelmingly painful and so a lot of us, including me, will go back and do what they were doing. 
but I think in order to actually reach a full recovery is pushing past that and yeah accepting just that this is going to be a hard journey and that it's going to take time. So after all the food and the body weight stuff comes the real journey into becoming a person that isn't your eating disorder and becoming who you truly are because when you have an eating disorder you are just kind of the eating disorder you're consumed by its thoughts it's consumed by your behaviors and then all of a sudden you don't have it and you're like who am I who am I what do I like what are my values what do I want to do with my life and you're all of a sudden like I don't know I don't know I've just always had an eating disorder I don't know usually I just do what my eating disorder says and now all of a sudden it's not there and you're stuck thinking I'm no one and that's when you've got to decide that you're going to become someone that's not like anorexia or bulimia or orthorexia or binge eating you're going to become you and like for me that's I need to become Tara and I need to figure out so much stuff and I've already started that journey I've already started I know my values I know the person that I want to be but sometimes I feel like just lost and I'm like uh, it was so much easier just being a shell of anorexia it was so much easier that way now I actually have to go out into the real world and deal with rejection and deal with people not liking me and dealing with failure and dealing with success and dealing with different people responding differently to you, who you are and it is so overwhelming and that's why I think that it's important to know that recovering from an eating disorder is not getting to a certain weight. It's not saying I eat now I'm fine. It's actually becoming okay with who you are and accepting who you are and it's about you're going to have bad days. I'm pretty sure every girl on this planet has a bad day in regards to their body or the way that they look. So it's just acknowledging those feelings and letting them sink in and accepting them but not letting them affect the way you eat or your exercise and yeah that's when you're going to reach your full recovery is when you don't let the thoughts control your intake or your outtake and um, yeah and I think when you stop letting food control you and exercise control you and you become at peace that is when you can kind of say I did it I recovered and there's no pressure or no rush into getting to that point because the more you pressure yourself and the more you push yourself to say I'm recovered you're more likely to kind of slip back because it's all happened so quickly and it's all like I must do this I must do it this way and I must get to this weight and I must set myself and I must eat normally and then you put so much time into all that that you haven't just allowed yourself to grow and to naturally heal so um yeah I, that's my little spiel on <laughs> eating disorders and what it takes to recover I can't say that I'm recovered but I think for the first time ever I can actually say I'm in recovery which is like a huge thing to even get to this point I mean it's taken me like nine years to get to the point of saying I'm actually in recovery I'm actually starting to recover and that's such a huge deal so from then on just don't put the pressure on yourself for me when I have a bad day it's just a bad day I don't think too much into it I don't obsess over it I just go okay bad day didn't eat enough and don't feed that eating disorder don't give it any any thought don't you know let that grow don't let that eating disorder part of you grow just go okay cool bad day see you later <laughs> and the less energy and the less time and thought you put into your eating disorder like the smaller it comes that becomes sorry and and the more effort and time you can put into yourself and doing things that you love. So that's it for my video today. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And you can follow me on Instagram, fruity underscore be free. So thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys soon.